What's up everyone, you're Vatapesh Kumar here and welcome back to Boeing Boy. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys something very interesting and that is how much fuel do we carry on our airplanes? Where do we carry that fuel and how do we decide that this flight pe mujhe itna petrol chahiye? Not exactly petrol, but how do we decide how much fuel is to be carried for each flight? Also, do we cater for some emergencies? You'll get to know in today's video. Okay, so airplanes do not work like a car. गाड़ी या बाइक में हम क्या करते हैं टंकी भरी हज़ार का डाल दे दो हज़ार का डाल दे एंड देन वी जस्ट ड्राइव ऑफ टिल द टाइम इन रीच द नेक्स्ट पेट्रोल पम्प एंड इफ यू नीड टू फिल अप अगेन वी फिल अप फ्यूल देयर पर हवा में हमारे पास ये प्रिविलेज नहीं होती ऐसा नहीं हो सकता ना कि हम अपना जहाज़ हवा में उड़ते उड़ते साइड में लगाएँ कोई पेट्रोल पम्प पर पे फ्यूल भरवा लें एंड देन वी कंटिन्यू और वी फ्लाई मिलिट्री जेट्स जहाँ पे एक टैंक कराएगा और हमें मिड फ्लाइट रिफ्यूल कर देगा सो वी नीड टू वेरी एक्यूरेटली कैलकुलेट हाउ मच फ्यूल वी नीड टू कैरी फॉर ईच एंड एवरी फ्लाइट सो पहली बात तो मेजोरिटी ऑफ द एयरप्लेन्स एक्चुअली प्रिटी मच एवरी एयरप्लेन दैट आई नो ऑफ कैरी इज फ्यूल इन द विंग्स मोस्टली इन द विंग्स एंड बिगर कमर्शियल जेट्स ऑल्सो कैरी फ्यूल इन द फ्यूज लार्ज इन द लोअर बेली ऑफ द एयरक्राफ्ट सो बेसिकली वेर यू आर सिटिंग उसके नीचे यू हैव द कारो कंपार्टमेंट and uske niche you have a fuel tank that is used as a secondary means primarily the fuel is carried in the wings of the aircraft refueling of the aircraft is done through a little hose in the wing next time you board an aircraft if you see on the right hand side you might find a truck standing and it has a pipe which is attached to the wing of the aircraft that truck is basically refueling the aircraft you can refuel the aircraft through one wing and that fuel can be sent to all the tanks in the aircraft so fuel truck to aa gaya aircraft se connect bhi ho gaya but how do we tell the fuel guy how much fuel to put into the aircraft for that nowadays we have modern softwares so basically there is a guy called a dispatcher in every airline and this dispatcher has a system a software in front of him on his computer in that software he will put in the aircraft ka route so the aircraft has to let's say go from delhi to mumbai so we'll put in that route he will also put in the alternate uh, alternate is basically a standby airport that we go to in case we are not able to land at our destination so let's say a normal alternate for mumbai would be ahmedabad so if you are doing a flight from delhi to mumbai your alternate would most probably be ahmedabad so this information is put into the software by the dispatcher and the software will then do a number of calculations according to a defined procedure and then the software will give an output of the exact amount of fuel so now the question comes how is the software calculating the fuel that is something that you should know the software basically has the performance data of the aircraft which basically means the software knows how much fuel that aircraft burns during the takeoff during the climb cruise descent during taxi on the ground chipkuli ka bachcha all of that information is already there in the software so the software will do the calculation as follows so we start burning fuel on the aircraft from the moment we taxi out from our parking gate so from our parking gate to the holding point we have the taxi out fuel thereafter we take off we climb we cruise and we descend all of this fuel is known as the trip fuel plus you also have something known as a mdf now mdf stands for minimum diversion fuel which basically means in case you're not able to land at your destination which in our example is mumbai then you will have to divert to ahmedabad now mdf caters for fuel from mumbai all the way to ahmedabad so which is again basically your climb cruise and descend into ahmedabad plus we also get as a final contingency 30 minutes of fuel for holding over ahmedabad now this fuel is known as final reserve fuel this fuel is basically like a last resort a last means the kuch nahi bachta then you still have these 30 minutes of flying time available there is also something known as a contingency fuel contingency fuel is basically 5% of your trip fuel or 5 minutes of flying time trip fuel if you remember is from your departure to your destination the climb cruise and descent fuel so 5% of this trip fuel or 5 minutes of flying time whichever is greater ये कंटेंजेंसी फ्यूल दिया जाता है बेसिकली टू केटर फॉर सम एग्जीजेंसी सच एज यू हैव अ वेदर डिविएशन और यू डो नॉट गेट योर ऑप्टिमम फ्लाइट लेवल फॉर क्रूजिंग यू आर क्रूजिंग एट अ लोअर एल्टीट्यूड सो यू विल बर्न मोर फ्यूल सो फॉर दो सिनारियोज यू हैव दिस एक्स्ट्रा कंटेंजेंसी फ्यूल नाउ द एयरलाइन विल ऑल्सो गिव यू सम एक्स्ट्रा फ्यूल फॉर होल्डिंग एट द डेस्टिनेशन रिमेंबर द फाइनल रिजर्व इज फॉर होल्डिंग एट द ऑल्टरनेट 
the extra fuel that you get is for holding at your destination so for example you're coming into mumbai and bahut sara traffic hai jaisa mumbai mein hamesha hi hota hai so because of that traffic you will have to wait for your turn to land you will have to hold so this extra hold fuel is given by the airline so to quickly recap the fuel that we carry on our flight is basically our taxi out fuel then your trip fuel which is your climb cruise and descent fuel plus you'll have fuel for the approach plus you get 5% of your trip fuel or 5 minutes of flying time as a contingency fuel and then you have your mdf minimum diversion fuel which is from your destination to your alternate airport and finally part of that mbf is also your 30 minutes of final reserve fuel this total calculation is done by the software and it simply gives us a number and that is the amount of fuel that we have to carry now what we've discussed here is basically the fuel required for a jet engine transport category aircraft if you fly a small cessna at a training school your fuel carrying would be very different if you're flying a propeller aircraft the fuel you carry is different if you fly a military aircraft it's totally different so what i've told you here is only one scenario there can be multiple different scenarios and multiple different calculations but the one i told you is the most commonly used one so the next time you get on a flight you now know that how much fuel is the pilot carrying and how they calculated that fuel that's about it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please drop in a thumbs up drop in a comment if you have any questions or if you would like me to make some more videos on some more informative topics and this is your boy signing off take care and i'll see you guys in the next one